Do you use organic fertilizers or perhaps you're considering overseeding your lawn this spring? If so, this video is for you. Coming up, I tell you everything I know about soil temperatures and why you should care about them. Let's get started. Hey YouTube, Ron here with Project Golf Course Lawn Season 5. So soil temperatures, why should you care about them? Really, there's two major reasons why, as a lawn care enthusiast, soil temperatures should matter to you. The first is if you use organic fertilizers. So you guys are probably all well aware of my slightly unhealthy love affair with Melorganite. If not, you can check out my video here. You can see how I apply it and the results you can expect to get from you know, that organic fertilizer. Now, the thing with organics is that they, they rely on microbes in the soil to break them down to release the nutrients into the soil so you get that luscious green effect. Now, granted, it's in the morning, so don't come down too hard on me if the lawn's not looking the way you guys expect it to look, but you know, it's morning time. But yeah, pretty much that deep green that you get in, uh, in your turf, uh, a, a major micronutrient that helps produce that is iron. And malorganite and a lot of the organics contain that. But in order for them to work, they need a certain temperature for the microbes to start you know, eating away and releasing all that good stuff into the soil. Now, for malorganite, that temperature is around 55 degrees. I think if you look on their website, they say um, between 55 and 85 degrees is about where you want soil temps to be to get um, to, to trigger that effect and to, to you know, allow the, the microbes to do their thing and for their, or the fertilizer to work. Realistically, if you put it down colder than that, it's just going to sit on the on the turf and not really do anything. You're not going to really hurt anything per se, um, but you're just not going to get the, the the best effect out of the product unless you're applying it uh, at soil temperatures at 55 degrees or higher. Second reason why you should care about soil temps, and this was really probably the more important of the two because it involves money. Uh, if you are considering overseeding your lawn this spring with one of those, you know, super hot, you know. Uh, Bermuda grass seeds, Arden 15. Uh, if you guys are curious, I did a video on, on overseeding with Arden 15 um, right here. Uh, but if you're considering using those seeds, uh, soil temperatures matter a whole lot more because um, most grass seeds like uh, Prince of 77, now Arden 15, Yukon, I mean a any of the seeds, any of the seed cultivars, they require a certain temperature floor for them to begin to, to work properly, for them to germinate. Now in the case of my lawn, it's been overseeded twice so far, uh, completely with Princess 77, and then this season I overseeded it uh, with Arden 15, mainly to show you guys the process of how I go about overseeding the lawn, just to get you guys some documentation on that. Um, and in the case of um, Arden 15, it requires, or the, the recommended temperature um, is consistently in the, around 65 degrees or higher. So really you want soil temps to be uh, 65 degrees or higher for you to get uh, optimal germination. So uh, I think if you look at the, the spec, they, they say that you can expect the seed to, to um, begin germinating anywhere between seven to 10 days after being uh, planted. But that again is highly dependent on a couple things. On uh, one, you're keeping enough moisture in the soil, but also on soil temperature. So seeds, uh, require a certain balance for you to get optimal results. Now, I've spoken um, to the the place where I got the seeds from, and, and and they said that you know if you if you put them down a little bit early, so where it's uh, you know the temperatures are a little cooler than they should be, all it's going to happen is just going to slow down germination. So it's not like if you did this too early, you're gonna you wasted a bunch of money. Your grass um, seeds aren't gonna aren't gonna germinate. You're gonna you know you get to start all over again. But ideally, you want to do this when the temperatures are around 65 degrees or higher to get the best result. So we established the two reasons. One, if you're using uh, organics, kind of important because they won't work otherwise. And then two, the more expensive reason is that if you are using a, uh, a hybrid Bermuda grass seed because they have um, temperature requirements for germination. So now that we've, I've sold you on all the reasons of why you really should care about soil temperature, your next question is, Ron, how do I measure soil temperature? Well, I'm glad you asked. There's two major ways to go about it, or two easy ways that I can think of to go about it. The first is the way that I used to do it, which I'd, I'd get on um, a website, and I'll put that uh, somewhere on the screen here where I can find a spot for it. And I'd simply uh, go to a local weather, look, go on that website, look up a weather station that's near my place. That'll tell me the temperature in the area, and that place, that temperature station also had the ability to uh, tell me what soil temps were at dead varying depths. So that's one way of doing it. It's an approximation because obviously they're not have the exact, they're not in the same exact location as I am, but it gets, it gets you kind of close. The second way 
And I'm not going to take credit for this. I got the idea from this from a viewer of mine, Richard. So Richard, shout out to you. I'll put your, your messed up here on the, on the screen. Who suggested it is to get one of these guys. So this is a uh, digital soil thermometer. You can pick it up off of Amazon or your local garden supply store for about 15 bucks. I got this on Amazon for like $15. If you're interested, I'll have a link in the description. And with, with this little bad boy, you can um, quickly figure out what your soil temps are. So let's do that. I'll show you guys a quick demo of how this, how this works. Let's get out here. And uh, now what they recommend, the, the instructions recommend is to power it on and then stick it in the soil and then see, and then you can measure, um, get your measurement that way. What I found, this thing is, is actually pretty accurate. And I just, I find I just stick it in the soil like so, you know, two to four inches about what they recommend. I get a good spot like right here, like that. And then just power it up and we'll wait. And let's see what we, see what we come up with. So right now, it's showing 59 degrees, guys. 59 degrees. So that's good for Milo. Not so great for Bermuda grass seed. We're a little bit low. But now, mind you, right now it's 7 in the morning. So it's, it's, it's still a little bit chilly. And, uh, you know, 59 degrees, while not great, up 58 degrees. And while not great, we're not, like, you know, um, terra bad. So now here's the thing that you also want to consider, too, is I... Uh, I use this thermometer yesterday as well uh, around 10 in the morning and I'll put a screenshot of that up on the screen now so you guys can see and um, what what stands out is that the temps are, are in the 70s so it was like 71 or 70 degrees I think I forget exactly what it said but it, it was in the it was in the low 70s so what that says is that um, you know right now if you wait maybe another week or so um, you probably be in a better position to, to get a, a better result if you if you uh, plant Bermuda grass seed. Not saying that if you do it now or do it this week, you're gonna have a bad result. But if you want that seven to ten day germination and everything to work out well with the stars aligned, then waiting maybe a little bit longer is not a not a bad plan. Okay, so that's probably what I wanted to share with you guys. If you guys found this content useful, definitely let me know. You know, um, you know, leave me a like. Definitely comment if you guys have used um, soil thermometers before. Uh, let me know. You know, this is this this was um, this was a great suggestion by a uh, by a viewer. It's really not that expensive. And think about it: for what you spend in like Bermuda grass seed, you figure Arden 15 is between 400 to 450 dollars for 25 pound bag, which is what I use to do this lawn. I mean, a 15 dollar investment ensure, to ensure that you get the best result. Not a, not a bad trade. You know, so just something to consider. But if you guys have already been using these, let me know. Let me know if they were helpful in you guys getting a good result. And if, and if not, if you just kind of winged it and gotten good results uh, too, uh, let me know that as well. So guys, please feel free to like, share, and comment on this video. Um, definitely give me a like. And, and also, if, if you find this content useful, consider subscribing. Here's the thing. The way that YouTube's algorithm works, um, interaction really matters a lot. So when you guys like and you leave a comment, you know, it's, it's not that big of a deal to you guys, but it's actually a really big deal to me. It's a big deal to YouTube allows me to grow the channel, guys, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to produce great content for you guys on a consistent basis, and, you know, channel growth allows me to, to, to continue to do that. So if you can find it in your heart to give me a like, and if you're really feeling generous, would consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your day to, uh, to spend it with me and to chat about lawn care. If there's anything I can do to help you guys out, please feel free to comment, and uh, thanks again so much for watching. See you next time.